was in a social gathering and I was asked within the context of leadership why don't people who are suffering you know groups societies communities who are suffering from abuse rise to the challenge and remove this abuse from their life why don't they stand up and face corruption and remove the causes of pain and suffering and injustice that's happening to them and their children and their families it's a big question and my thoughts took me to history it took me as far as thinking about nations that accepted slavery for centuries that's hundreds of years within an injustice system or within a system that's abusive hundreds of years masses of people by the hundreds of thousands if not millions accepted to be abused by corrupt authority and guess what they did nothing about it <laughs> You can't exercise leadership. You can't think about leadership without understanding human nature. And when it comes to human nature, there's the nature of the individual and there's the nature of the masses. When it comes to masses, this is it. You can't rely on masses. You cannot rely on masses. If you're waiting for the masses to rise, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work this way. The masses will go with the lowest common denominator and they will tolerate abuse till eternity until somebody says enough is enough and that's what leadership is about one or a minority standing up against tyranny against abuse against injustice against what is wrong and say enough is enough then maybe there's hope that the masses will rise and support this initiative. Without that, nothing will happen. There's bad news and good news. The bad news is the Savior will not come. The good news is the following. You are the Savior. You're the Savior. In any context you find yourself where you are part of a group and that group is suffering, don't wait for the group to rise. They will not rise. It's not because they're bad. It's part of human nature. That's the psychology of the masses. You become your savior. If you don't want to do it for them, do it for yourself. And you will be shocked how many people will be inspired. Regardless, what other hope do you have? Waiting for others? Waiting for another century or so? Leadership is the only hope that we have. Because without leadership, nothing good happens. Because what's leadership? Leadership is about saying, we deserve better. We can solve the problem. We are the solution. And we're going to make it regardless of the pain because we're better than this. And we're not going to let tyranny or abuse continue. It's a moral obligation more than to the masses, to the individual. You're the savior. Don't wait for the masses. Take charge. And people will follow.